Hi, my name's Lindy and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you are coping with the current world events and wading your way through these. On a positive note, we are more than halfway through. We're about between half and two thirds of the way through, moving through the eye of the storm, so to speak. And how fast the next bit is done is all dependent on you. It's all dependent on us. How quickly we see and feel from the eyes and the ears of the heart and how swiftly we are able to recognize the truth and move through the next phase of really the emotional recognition of that truth, because it will take some people into soul shock and it will take some people into a little bit of a mini dark night of the soul. As there is this huge eye opening of exactly what has been happening on this planet and what has been happening to you, to us as multidimensional souls, as we not only reclaim our sovereignty and reclaim our freedom and stand in our power, but actually begin to access the true wholeness, the true oneness of who we are, coming from that unified field, creating our reality from that octave of creation from the heart and move into the ascension reality. So lots going on, lots of kind of quite extreme polarized things going on which aren't pleasant for humans for any of us to be moving through but in a sad way kind of necessary so people can really see what's happening and come into their own and uh, that is what is happening so the I'm not sure on the title of this video yet. I will see where it takes me. I just had this spontaneous urge to come up here today. And um, I'm gonna launch in really to saying, I don't think most people realize just quite how amazing they are as human beings. Most people get so tied up with their lives and so tied up with sort of navigating their way through that and so tied up with everyday events that they don't even access sometimes the rungs of consciousness in their own heart so I always describe the rungs of consciousness in the heart as rather like a ladder and people operating on a certain rung of the ladder and then as they go through various parts of their lives and through awakenings and journeys they are coming from a different rung of that ladder or they're, they're, they're elevating, they're going up higher rungs of that ladder all towards connecting and bringing down their higher self and also accessing their multidimensional library of who they are in every time space continuum in all realities, in all times, in all dimensions. It's most an incredible thing. Now to get to those different rungs of the ladder people have different entry points sometimes it's a massive wake-up call like what is going on with people now sometimes it is a near-death experience that suddenly jolts people into awakening most often it is through life events sometimes it's through that incredible predestined synchronistic meeting of someone or multiple people that accelerate that spiritual awakening that grand remembering taking one out of that divine amnesia into that divine remembrance of who you are and uh, in some ways that was my entry point and that's in some ways has been my specialism how people awaken through life triggering events or meeting other people and actually come through what we call unified ascension templates to do that. So when people awaken in this way, they, be, they start their journey up that ladder in their heart of their own consciousness. So they start moving their way through those rungs. They start to have changes in their perception, uh, changes in their actual reality, able to access much more information about the world around them, about who they are, 
And as they continue to go up and rise in their frequency and vibration or go up the rungs of the ladder of the heart, they find that their physical reality can change quite significantly. Now, sometimes it really is like shit in a snowstorm. Um, people will say to me, why is it so much that when they start to awaken, all hell sometimes breaks loose, you, you know, loose in their life. And actually, that's quite commonplace. And lots of people they know or knew fall away from them. Different people come in and there is quite a like a baptism of fire, rather like a phoenix rising from the ashes process. And that is because as one frequency and vibration raises, then everything becomes frequency specific. So the life you're living, the things around you, where you're living, the people you're associating with, uh, are likely to change, highly likely to change, because unless they're singing from the same hymn sheet, unless they're on a similar vibrational frequency, there can be a clash of energies and gradually a parting of the waves, one going left, one going right. Sometimes if you're, let's say, lucky, um, you may get both singing from the same hymn sheet, um, actually both rise together, so to speak. And then there is an acceleration or a fruitfulness or a huge development in a relationship um, that is actually better than it was prior to the awakening. So it can go a number of ways, but uh, there are different ways people are waking up now. And uh, like I say, human relationships is the fastest evolutionary point of the ascension process or uh, a huge part of it, the heart of it. The relationship of yourself to yourself, yourself to another, yourself to the world, the universe, God, and yourself in relation to, um, you know, how, how you are. So you to you, you to the world, you to others, you in relationships, you to God's source and the universe. And all of this is part of that awakening process, really. Of course, in order to get there, there's no such thing as a free lunch, so to speak. Um, one has to face everything that was hidden within one one has to face everything that was suppressed within one one has to come into a process of reconciliation within their own heart the double whammy here is at this point in human evolution one is not just doing that for oneself one is doing that for one's blood family one's doing that for one's soul family that those that hold the more of their own consciousness more of their own light tend to be lighthouses to help the others in their family through until there are other lighthouses in the family, until everybody in the family are lighthouses and can do it themselves. So what happens is the, the ones, the first waivers, the ones at the forefront of that kind of get um, the job, if you like, whether they, you know, wanted it or not, um, of, of kind of holding that space, holding that position. So the more they go through their process, the more they become more conscious, the more they become more light, the more they hold more of the light, the more they are helping their families to do that, triggering families to do that. Of course, not every person in every family is gonna go through that process. Not everyone will ascend in this lifetime and not everyone will stay in this reality, but those that will, you're helping them significantly until they are standing in their own power, their own lighthouse and doing it for themselves. So not only that, not only that, but you are also, let's say anchored to, linked to all of the old, other multidimensional realities you are living at the same time. So past, present and future existing at the same time, you are also linked to all of this. So everything going on in those realities, you are also uh, being affected by what is going on there. And we call them bleed throughs. If anything is in a reality that is having a direct, not entirely helpful effect on now, there are things that we can do about that to address that. Because sometimes um, a simple example is someone has a physical injury in another reality and in this reality at the same age they start to take on the same physical in in injury even though they haven't had an injury in this life um, they start limping around and it's nothing to do with this life it's just there's you could almost say like cross wires but in a way that's not entirely true but it is kind of 
in that they are there are echoes because it's happening at the same time there are echoes and sometimes there are very close crossover points or nodes where one can not just tap into but actually be affected by what's going on in another reality when it's you and that's great if it's helpful to you now and it helps empower you and it helps you remember who you are and it's uh adding to the expansion of your consciousness but when it's a bleed through or something leaking through that's kind of getting in the way or causing blocks that we're, there are things we can do about this now and um clear that out of the way you know to speed you along your path to becoming more unified into the heart the amazing thing about humans not realizing quite how amazing they are is because largely we have been dormant we've been dormant for a very long time that has been deliberately orchestrated so that we were dormant uh so that we couldn't really stand in the fullness of who we are i spoke about this on a previous uh video i think i called it the fishing net of souls where there are multiple realities going on at the same time where you are going through different things different processes this is on planet and off planet this is also linked to off planet out there in the galaxy out there in the uni universe you're not just earthbound yes this we are concerned with the earthbound at the moment but what's happening on the earthbound reality for us is also affecting you as a fractal or an aspect on planet on off planet past present and future all at the same time so what we're finding now is as you become more conscious as you go up that ladder of consciousness in your heart as you become more self-aware as you start to live your truth your authentic truth as the programming that you've been born with all your life um relentlessly um lot of that not for your highest benefit because there is an ultimate agenda that's been going on behind it um, what we found and i referenced this in the fishing net of the souls is that there's been interference uh in your alternate realities i referenced this in the last video i did as well called interference in parallel um your parallel dimensions and uh, that interference also orchestrated to stop people getting to where they're going in the fullness of who they are. Um, in the fishing net of souls, I also said that we had discovered that there has a, been a long-term thing to loop people into repeating things over and over again, especially if they're suffering related, coming under the thing of karma. This isn't genuine karma, what I'm talking about here. This is keeping people looped in cycles of suffering. So what feeds upon them negatively, what feeds upon them can keep getting fed. Um, this goes into the negative extraterrestrial realms, uh, which I have referenced on and off all the way through my YouTube channel for years now. Very relevant to what's happening now. This is everything that's happening now. Um, and I also reference that there is the true organic heart let's say christ that's the nearest i can come to it true source um light power energy that you are essence spirit that you are that also um has been playing out let's say uh almost like a game or a, on a theater and multiple realities at the same time um, just to expand and to learn and to grow and to keep growing and uh, that is nothing to do with feeding into a cycle of suffering that gobbles that up that's something very different that's called soul evolution or growth where I go back again to saying just how amazing humans are they just don't realize and I keep referencing it and I will keep on referencing it you are literally time lords in your own skin and lots of you don't realize it i mean hopefully a lot of you watching this will realize it you probably wouldn't be watching my videos anyway um inside your heart is your own stargate effectively your heart portal and you are already not working towards it you are already existing in multiple realities on planet and off planet you've just been up to now only aware of this one there are two reasons for that part of it is to make you aware of all of them would probably drive you and me totally insane because to know it all all at the same time might be a bit overwhelming for how we are at the moment as we raise our di dimensional energy or our vibration um you know we're able to access more and it doesn't fry the circuits or fry the brain um so 
is because humans have been entrained and entrapped in a third dimensional reality deliberately that we've not been able to access stuff that we could access in that in the times of Atlantis and Lemuria, for example. So as humans go up again through the rungs of consciousness, up in their vibrational level, up in their frequency, they will be able to access again what they haven't been able to access and realize so much the fullness of who they are, not only knowing that they are in multiple realities at once, and some of them you might be aware of, and some of them you won't be aware of, that doesn't matter, but you will have the sense of that fullness of the heart, that sense of that knowing, but all the other things that come with that, you know, often people's kundalini fires up, if it hasn't fired up before now, energy running through their field that they're not used to, not just, I don't mean just psychically, I mean all this running through the heart, not um, uncontrollable kundalini or uncontrollable psychic energy it's all softened and run through the heart it's very nat natural and organic it's an ability that that humans have always had um, also finding out that as they come more into that ladder of consciousness in their heart that they are able to directly create their reality this is an octave higher than manifesting one's reality i've consistently said that over the years is an octave higher, which is creating one's reality. This is the reality that we are now moving into. I'm gonna say this over, over and over and over and over and over and over again. The ascension reality that is morphing as, as I speak is unstoppable. Not only is it unstoppable, but it is 150% successful. Nothing can stop it, it's unfolding, it's happening. It's like humans being two, two thirds of the way down the birth canal. They can't shove themselves back up. They are being reborn, so to speak, into the fullness of who they are. They are two thirds of the way down. So they can't go back up. The only way is to keep going onwards and upwards. They've got to go forwards. Despite how it looks around us, which in some countries looks appalling, including in the United Kingdom, forced procedures being threatened to be forced on individuals, freedoms taken away and terrible barbaric things happening all over the world. Unfortunately, this is the plaster being pulled off and so that people see exactly, truly what has been happening in the world they thought they were living in. They were blindfolded, they had blinkers on, they didn't realize. And for humans to realize that they've got to see it and it has to get this polarized in a way for them to see it. Having said that, everything is, is a million percent on track. And however awful and gloomy it seems, there is a line in Harry Potter, I think however dark it seems, one only has to remember to turn on the light. I think it's Dumbledore that says that. And that's exactly true. Don't ever forget who you truly are. Don't for ever forget your sovereignty and the true power you have in your heart. Don't ever forget truly that you are actually an existing Time Lord, whether you know you are or not. How are you a Time Lord? Because you're in all time, space, continuums, all realities, past, present and future at the same time. And this is what scares the shit out of the people that would have you not remember this. Those that are behind some of the negative, inside some, all of the negative world events, those that are behind tampering with human DNA so that you didn't remember. Because you're so powerful, you know, you blow these guys out of the water just with one look. That's how powerful you are. And it's that time that you're coming into the great remembrance. And as part of that remembering, you may go into soul shock, you may be angry, you may be sad. You may feel lost, you may feel triggered, you may have loads of old stuff coming up from this life and being hit by other multidimensional realities at the same time. There are things we can do to help with help with that. But this is part of it. This is part of pulling the plaster off. You're amazing. You're going to be remembering that you're amazing. And sometimes that's going to be overwhelming. And sometimes it's going to be a bit scary. Sometimes it's going to be amazing for you to feel and sometimes it's going to bring all the last stuff up that you need to let go of so you can literally fly and I mean fly. If I really and the last thing I'm going to say here as I talk about fractals the easy way to describe that is you are aware of being you in this reality but you have a different name a different face a different age a different sex a different body a different shape 
in multiple other cinema screens at the same time. You're aware of the cinema screen, you're not aware of the other multiple cin cinema screens running at the same time. But and yet you are in them and you are playing your part and you are going through the motions and you are growing as spirit and you are expanding as consciousness and it's all happening now. It's all happening now, past, present and future, on planet, off planet. And the amazing thing is, if I describe what I mean by that, as you're aware of yourself now, well, imagine yourself as a flower with infinite amount of petals. You are aware of being one petal. Not only are you one petal, but you're the whole flower. And if you think of all the other petals, you are every other single petal on that flower. And within each petal is another petal of the flower. And within each petal of the petal, there is another petal of the flower. And you are all of these things at the same time. Infinite, countless, too many for me to number, amounts of fractals. And yet they're all you, all the same flower. Again, different name, different age, different race, um, maybe even on planet, off planet. There's a part of all of us in our junk DNA that is galactic. We, we are star beings as well as earthbound. We come from the stars. Uh, you have relatives that are on planet, off planet. The list goes on. You're so much more than you've been entrained and trapped and brainwashed and programmed to believe. Never has it been more important in human history for you to get a sense of that. Never has it been more important in human history for you to remember that. Never has it been more important for you in human history to really open your eyes wide, open your heart wide, be prepared to have your belief systems challenged, be prepared to listen, be prepared to research, be prepared to stand in your truth. Never has it been more important. Because it doesn't matter what I'm telling you, if at the 11th hour, you as a human being, you as only in the recognition of who you are now, what name you are now, what sex you are now. If at the end of the day, you are going to try to bury your head in sand at this, at this moment, it would be a tragedy. It will be a tragedy to you, for you, and it will be a tragedy for you multidimensionally because you are literally one second away from midnight, one second away from the finishing line, one second away. On an everyday basis, you just do the best you can. You're coping the best you can. You try to come from your authentic self. You try to take care of yourself, prepare to have your horizons broadened there are a lot of people that are going to be utterly shocked a lot of people that are going to be utterly amazed a lot of people that are going to be utterly challenged when the true truth of everything comes out let me put it this way whatever you think the truth is it's a thousand times bigger than that whatever you think the truth is it's a thousand times bigger than that Let's say on all sides of the fence. And when it comes out, not if, it's starting to drip out now. As it comes out, it's going to be pretty amazing. It's quite an amazing time to be alive. You're amazing in the fact that you signed up to be here at this time. You're amazing that you chose as a soul, as a spirit, to be here on Earth at this time in history, which is amazing, shocking scary for a lot of people life-changing all of those things it's it's huge it's as huge as it could ever get and yet it's terribly 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 exciting you're at one second to midnight don't give up now not when you're about to have the blindfold removed and you're about to see the whole lot don't give up now as i said before never been more important for you to realize who you are, never been more important for you to get in touch with that heart of yours. Live your truth, stand by that truth, come into your power. Be realistic, I'm not one for spiritual bypassing. I think anything that helps move you through this time and helps you feel 
uplifted and positive is fantastic, but you've also got to have your feet down on the ground. And I know it's hard. I know the temptation is not to do that at this time. The temptation is not to have your feet on the ground because it is hard, but you can do it. You're walking your mastery, your time lords, for God's sake. You can do it. Not only can you do it, but you've been past this point in your human evolution before, because it's all happening at the same time. In the Lemurian and Atlantean civilizations, you know how to do it. It's just that you've been almost like drugged and hypnotized, hypnotized. Your, in, your DNA has actually been interfered with. I mean, they're trying to interfere with it again now, hence what they're placing into people's arms. There's an interference in DNA massively in that to try and make sure you never remember. Not on my watch, not on many of our watch, not on our watch. We've been there, done that before in Atlantis. It's not happening again. Only to, we, we know it's not happening again, despite how it looks. This massive spiritual war that's been going on for quite some time, at least from 2020. We know the end result. They know the end result. All they're doing is hanging on as long as possible, causing as much damage as possible before they go. Because when they go this time, they are gone, gone, finished, gone. And they won't be back. They will never be back. So they're just going to take as many down as they can and do as much damage as they can in this last section of it. How quick we do this bit is down to you. It's down to me, it's down to every single person. But we do do it. We do it. We make it. You've just got to remember how amazing you are. Just got to have that belief. It's a saying, isn't it? Seeing is believing, but actually believing is seeing. You've got to have that belief. Last thing I'm going to say on this video, because I don't want it to be too long, is to, if you are somebody that meditates, if you are someone that sits and kind of tunes in to positive vibes every day, or even if, even if you're someone that doesn't, try and have a positive visualization just for two or three minutes every day if you don't meditate if you meditate build it into your meditation of bringing in gold orange powerful light like the sun like the birth of a planet because it's the rebirth of you have it orangey golden light particularly the gold in there and imagine bringing that round your energy field like a large transparent bubble have your feet standing in what we call the earth star in the the earth star and actually call it the earth star so you're anchored to planet earth feet on the ground but you're also anchored to your galactic consciousness and you're also active activating and connected to connected up to all your aspects of consciousness within you. Feet on the ground, but feet in that earth star. And just imagine bringing in the gold and you can imagine it's like liquid gold. So you're in a golden a golden sort of um, bubble um, and you can have like a golden cloak over that if you want, you can add different things to it, but make it all gold. Uh, gold is a powerful spiritual color, but it's also the color of alchemy change, changing up from the, caterpillar to the butterfly and as you do this you can actually put liquid gold a visualization of liquid gold running through your veins liquid gold running through your organs liquid gold going into your mind like a mist liquid gold going into your muscles into your bones bring liquid gold up from the earth star up your body up through your feet up the system as well as down what has come to my awareness recently is there's a gross imbalance going on in people um, where they are tuning into energy from up and forgetting to get it from the waist down they're not it's not really getting right the way down through the vehicle you must run energy up as well as down so bring the liquid gold up from the gold earth star under your feet bring it up through your system up through your body up all the way and then all the way down again you only have to do this for three or four minutes one maybe once a day in the morning at night when you clean your teeth before you go to bed i mean you don't have to but it's enormously helpful 
It's giving you that added protection. It's giving you that speeding up, that alchemization with that color gold. And it's helping you get through your process as smoothly as you possibly can. It's a, it's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful vibration. It's a beautiful energy. We are all, you are phoenixes, phoenix rising from the ashes. You're about to be reborn. Some of you are going to be a little bit shocked about that. Some of you are going to be delighted about that. Some of you are going to be amazed about that. Some of you are going to be relieved about that because you've been waiting for a long time. In order to rise from the ashes, things have to, metaphorically speaking, burn. Everything is burnt off, burnt away that was false beliefs, negative beliefs, negative programming, negative interference, stuff that was holding you back. It all metaphorically, spiritually, like a spiritual flame, it kind of burns away in the fire, like a phoenix, and you're coming out of that stronger, more whole, more conscious and in the fullness of who you are because that's what amazing beings humans are they are human beings most of them have forgotten that time is here that they are now starting to remember so many billion will remember and so many billion won't and that's not a tragedy, because when they leave the earth plane, they will remember again and they will go through their process in an alternate reality or what you describe as heaven or in the afterlife. It's all happening at the same time. So they will get there, whether it's on this planet this time or whether it's off this planet. They will remember the fullness and the amazingness of who they are. My fervent wish for you is that you remember who you are. Even if you feel like you're stumbling around and can't at the moment, hold on to that hope. Hold on to that fire. Hold on to that light, metaphorically speaking, that inner fire, that inner flame. It's all there in your heart. Just because you haven't accessed that library yet, doesn't mean to say the library's not there. We're there, we're at that moment. It's an exciting time to be alive. It's a very, very stressful time to be alive because there's so much happening. They are literally queuing up with tickets off planet to see what's going on here because it's so amazing. To see the remembrance of humanity, huge swathes of humanity. They've been waiting as long as we have for this. It's quite a show and we're the stars of it on that note i will love you and leave you as always thank you for watching thank you for listening thank you for resonating thank you for being brave enough strong enough courageous enough amazing enough to be here at this extraordinary time in humanity's evolution. I will love you and leave you. Take care. And I hope to be back on camera again. Uh, probably will be before Christmas. I hope to be anyway. Until then. Bye.